Hey guys, Zillard here, back in with another review. And today we're having a look at the Spider-Man Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2099. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess I found a title that works. Not really. But, um, again, like we have all this week, we're gonna have a look at the packaging first. Spider-Man 2099, Spider-Man Marvel Legends, blah, 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 blah. Front's the same on all of them. You can pause and read that if you want. Oh, that name is uh, actually wrong. It's uh, O'Hara, not O'Shea. No, no, there he is. 2099. Then all the other figures. Odd Goblin, Spidey on the side. Bam. So, uh, Spider-Man 2099 here is, again, one of my favorite figures from this wave. I got a really good one. I don't know what the deal is with this guy and getting effed up in the factories and stuff with the paint or <clears throat> two left legs or something crazy like that. But I got a really good one. I'm super glad I did because it was the only one at the time. Now you can probably track down like three of them but a straightening him out uh, excuse me uh, he does uh, have quite uh, the amount of articulation he's actually the same figure base wise as the uh, regular spider-man released in this wave um, which is actually supposed to be the superior spider-man buck just elongated in the torso, which, uh, pulling out the regular Spider-Man, you can see that they are the same base body. And, uh, that's pretty, it's pretty good that they did that. Maybe they'll use the same for, like, a Spider-Man Neuer or something. Maybe they can also use, like, the, uh, the, um, coat from Nick Fury, but I hope they do a new one. <laughs> That one doesn't do much for me. But, uh, yeah, in terms of accessories, he comes with this cape, which we will take off for all intents and purposes, so I don't go insane when it falls off. I mean, mine stays on pretty good, but I know it has a tendency to fall off sometimes, so we'll just take it off for the articulation. Um, he does not have the uh, spider logo on the back. I don't know if he's supposed to or what. Um, I've never really looked into this character that much, but it is a nice blue metallic plastic with some red paint. I mean, on the base, it's pretty, it's pretty well done there. And then the skull on his chest. That's why this one caught my eye. It's got a freaking Punisher looking skull on it with some spider legs sticking out. Pretty cool. But, uh, he has, uh... In terms of articulation, the same as the other Spider-Man. He's got the up and down in the head. He's got the uh, slight rock to it. He's got the swivel. He's got the ab crunch, the really good ab crunch. Um, he's even got the butterfly joints. One of them I had to free up, but I wound up doing pretty successfully. I was almost starting to pose him like this. Then I realized, oh, wait, that's not right. <laughs> So, around here is where the shoulders are supposed to be. And uh, the shoulders, pretty good range of motion, bicep swivel, uh, the elbows, move a pretty good amount. He's got the little Batman spikes, and he's got the claw hand, clawed hands there. It's a new skull, it's pretty cool. He's got a hinge as well.
And he's got a swivel in the waist. Legs move forward. Again, not that far back. They don't move out that much either. But whatever. What are you going to do? He's got a thigh swivel. He's got the double jointed knees. Ah, here's where I can see if I got the freaking kneecap upside down. I think I do. Yep. Might have my dad boil and pop him. <laughs> that sucks. That's got paint on it. So I gotta see if about uh, getting that boiled and popped. Because if I do that, compare it to this side. The knee is upside down. At least it looks it to me. Because the cat, the kneecap is supposed to come up like that and stop it from moving up. Mine doesn't do that. Mine does that. Mine bends forward a lot more. Right there. So, yeah, that's upside down knee. Uh, have to hit that sucker with something. And pop the pins out. That's crazy. At least it's not too... At least that's a fixable problem. But uh, he's got the double jointed knees and then he's got the foot articulation in the foot. And he's got the rocker as well, so... 2099 is pretty good. Didn't have a upside down kneecap and the posability is really stellar on it. Um, I like it. The cape's cool. You can articulate that, actually. And originally, I thought he was supposed to have like a wing cape, like a kind of like Spider Woman. Which I don't know what her deal is. Is she like. She's not with Spider Man, obviously, but what the. What the heck, man? <laughs> it's totally different in every way. I don't know. I gotta get the size comparison and all that. I gotta move on from this guy, too. Woo! Almost lost something important. <laughs> oh, it's not my junk, either. Um, here he is next to the next figure we'll be having to look at. Made a Parker from the Warriors of the Web. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, I'm going to give this figure a 10 out of 10 as well. Excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. We're going to wrap this wave up and maybe move on to some other Marvel Legends stuff. Or maybe start reviewing some of the spawn crap I have. I don't know. <laughs> so, until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.